know, Alan, uh, the taxi drivers in uh, town, and, and, and please, I think we're not just talking Gray Street. Mm. It could be up in Lipo Street, there was a taxi rank. Down by the deli, there was a taxi rank. Warwick Avenue had a taxi rank. Clearwood had a taxi rank. So we're talking about all of those things. Those men that actually um, ran those taxis were actually like therapists as well. Because not only did they give you a lift home, but they, like the barber, you would tell them your whole life story and your problems, and they probably would find the solution or just give you an ear. So they played a, a role that was integral to, to lots of men who were not, I mean, brac uh, inverted commas, able to get home properly. Mm. You know, came out of the bar after work or was working in the movies and the movies finish at 11, they finish up and they get home at 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, I mean, 10, uh, 12 o'clock. So these men would take them home. At that time, um, you know, uh, these men sat there till early hours of the morning in the shop, mm. and they waited for their customers, and everybody had their own taxi driver. It was like, I would only ri ride with Uncle So-and-so. And when I got, got into the taxi, Sean, I didn't even have to tell him where I'm going. I would just go in there, sit down, and he would say, oh, you're okay, start the car and drive off. Ask me what's happening, how was my day? Never yet asked me what address. Mm -hmm. Next minute, I'm outside my front door. And it was also affordable. But you're talking about a fair lane. What about the Chevy Impala? The Valiant, you show? That was one the of Dodge. the big, the Dodge. So those big cars um, was uh, were basically what taxis used to use at that day. So they're all big American vehicles, yeah. you show? I mean, Correct. Yeah. So these and it, wasn't, it wasn't to get 10 or 12 people in there. Yeah. Sometimes there was just you. Yeah. yeah. It was just that was the taxi. So I mean, your... after that came the Granada. Before yes. that was a 1945 Chevy yeah. back in the... In the Ford the Granada, I remember Ford Granada, yeah. that's right. The cult, do you know the cult? And, and the reason why, you know, taxis were so popular, let's say 50s or 60s in the Casbah, right, is because a um, different public uh, transport system in the day, right? There were, there were the buses that you could Correct. take from the suburbs coming yeah. into town. Yes. Uh, but generally, these taxis were stationed in the greater you know, Casbah area and extension. Alan, Alan, correction. They didn't come from the suburbs into town. Right. They weren't allowed to come into town. The buses. The buses. Right. So if you you took a bus from uh, on the Sydenham, outskirts, then right. If you yeah. took a bus from Sydenham, that bus was stopping in Warwick Avenue, yeah. and you would have to walk all the way up Alice Street, into Gray Street, and then you in town. Oh, but it wasn't coming into town. Peter Street. Or alternatively, or Peter Street. Yeah. Alternatively, you came to Overport, you stopped there, you jumped on a uh, bus going to Reservoir Hills. It'll take you to Peter Street. Peter Street, and you jump off there. Yeah, and still walk into town. Yeah. So in, in Greater Gray Street. Queen Street, no, bus. no buses except the Green Mamba. Green. The Green Mambas was the council owned buses and they were allowed to come into town as such. So, you know, I think two or three days ago, you were uh, in the Casbah. That's right. You yeah. took your photograph with you. You was there today as well. Post some yeah. beautiful photographs. Incredible. You know, those are the men, the sons of the legendary uh, taxi drivers that we're talking about. So the, the taxi industry is still very much in the blood of, of those families. Mm. We're talking about uh, taxis like Raj Light taxis. They used to operate, uh, operate out of the West End Bar, yeah. which is opposite the Delhi. So there was a taxi rank there. So, you know, again, catering for the men's need. You're coming out of the pub. You're not in a good space to get home properly. You didn't have a car. Men then didn't have a car. The taxi mm. was affordable. It was safe. You would get home. So you would then jump in a taxi. Dowards taxi. That's oh, one of the, God, and then, God. then the famous one, Uncle China. Uncle China was, mm -hmm. was stationed outside Ganges on the corner oh, of Gray Street and uh, uh, Victoria Street. That taxi rank was a, was an iconic track, taxi rank. You know, talking about China, um, mm -hmm. Jab Stamba Pillay yes. uh, on the Facebook uh, page yes, right. said uh, about the taxis in the Casbah. Uh, I remember a very likable bar, a guy called China, mm -hmm. who if I recollect correctly, ran a, pri a pirate taxi. Pirate taxi. Uh, he owned yeah. an impeccably kept black Dodge. Yeah. Uh, and then Uncle Thamba says, when my dad did not have use of his police car, China would drive him home to Clarewood. He was yep. accustomed to park just outside Danji's Fruiter. Yes, there you go. Uh, and then Uncle Thamba wants to know, does anyone else remember him? 